Hello friends, this is Brian here from Streamwise Solutions, Connected Living Made Easy. Today I'm going to cover the new Fire TV user interface that Amazon has pushed out. This is not a voluntary uh, thing. This is nothing that we can control, nothing you can control. Amazon is just sporadically pushing it out. So you might actually have one Fire TV stick on the old user interface for a little while and one on the new user interface. Um, this video specifically is going to be for Amazon Fire TV Recast customers. So if you have an Amazon Fire TV Recast for your antenna channels, uh, this video will help out to find your DVR section because they did kind of hide it. Uh, there are some actually things that are better and easier and just kind of like everything in life, some things are better, some things are probably a little bit more challenging, some things are different. But I'll kind of cover the main changes here on this video today to make life easier for you. Uh, so anyway, I'm just grabbing the Fire TV remote, basically just using the main circle button on the top there to kind of move left and right, or of course up and down as well. Uh, probably the first thing you'll notice if you have an Amazon Fire TV recast, which is what this video is more about, is that there is no DVR section. So it's simplified across the navigation bar here if you move left and right. You still have all your, your top six apps here and all your apps to the right and the settings to the right. There's a live section, a find section, a home set. And so whatever you turn it on, it'll be on the home section. Or if you hit the home button on your Fire TV remote, you'll be on the home section. DVR is actually a little bit hidden. Um, I think the easiest way to get to, to DVR is if you actually use the voice button on the top of your Fire TV remote above the, the center select and the circle button. You can actually hold that down. Once it turns blue, you can actually say DVR. DVR. So that's what I just did on the Fire TV remote. And you can see it actually takes you really easily right to all your DVR recordings. And what's pretty cool about that is it's pretty quick and easy. So I'm gonna hit the home button again and show you another way to do that. So if you don't wanna use the voice remote, and by the way, you can also use the voice remote to say channel guide, just like you can say voice remote uh, and, and use the voice remote and say DVR to get to your DVR recordings like I just showed you. Um, if you don't want to do that, the second option is you can come over to the find section. Again, I'm just using the circle button to move left and right and the center select button to select something. Really, I just moved one to the right from home to find. And if I go down with the arrow buttons and I move over to the right and then just select library. So hit the center select button in the middle of the circle on your Fire TV remote. Once you select library, that's where some of your Amazon stuff might be in there as well, but you can see if I move down, that's where all my DVR recordings are. So this is the same recordings you had before. They're still there, nothing got deleted. So uh, take a deep breath, all good. Um, you can also get to the grid channel guide through here and your scheduled recordings and your DVR settings as well. Um, you know, in your DVR settings, you can actually get into your favorite channels, you can manage channels, uh, hide channels if you want as an example, which is gonna be pretty cool for this next feature I'm gonna show you where you can actually channel surf now with one of the upgrades. Uh, under sync sources here, that is where your Fire TV recast lives for your antenna channels. So if you can select that, if you ever have troubles with like a channel changed or you lost a channel, whatever, you can actually rescan for channels here. Uh, if you're getting none of your antenna channels through the Amazon Fire Recast, you can actually restart your recast, which is always a good thing to do if your antenna channels are not working or doing something weird. I would never reset because that deletes all your recordings. Restart is always good, right? It's just like kind of similar to unplugging the recast and plugging it back in. Uh, but a restart is, is always a good thing to do. That restarts the black box for your antenna channels that the coax is plugged into. Um, another quick tip on your Fire TV, you can actually hold down the center select button in the middle of the circle as well as the play pause and that actually reboots your Fire TV stick itself. So if that's ever doing something a little bit weird. Um, but anyway, there's always different ways to do different things. I think the main two takeaways are the DVR section. You can do voice remote and say DVR and find it like that or you can go into the find section and go down and over to library and then all your DVR recordings will be here. If I hit the home button and go back home, uh, really quickly I'll show you the live TV it has your grid guide as well. It also has kind of what you've recently watched to get to. 
Uh, plus, it has kind of your main apps in here and different sections for certain uh, apps if you're paying for cable channels and such for like sports and news. It also displays out some of the Fire TV recast stuff. Um, and then down below, it has the channel guide and favorites and all your settings as well. So if I hit the home button here, the other thing you might have noticed, I would, again, not move up and down because that kind of gets you lost in Amazon stuff. Uh, I would just kind of go left and right. Uh, to the right of the live section is all the different apps. So whatever you had as your top six apps are listed here still, just like they were before. So nothing's really changed. I think that's actually probably easier to access that stuff. However, if you're missing a certain app or whatever, if you come over here to this section and you hit the select button there to the far right, that pulls up your six main apps here. But if you want to actually move an app, you can kind of see on the screen, it actually tells you just to the right of the home button on the Fire TV remote, there's the little three horizontal lines. If you click on that uh, little hamburger button, that allows you, gives you different options to uh, move it. So if you wanted to move this app up into your top six apps, you could actually just hit the center select and leave it there instead. Um, so that's just one more uh, way to kind of move apps around if you, for some reason, lost apps. Uh, and then the far right here uh, is where your settings are. So you can come down to live TV and access all the same stuff we were just in there for your Amazon Fire Recast as an example. Uh, one last thing I'll show you here, uh, if I hit the home button again, and you can get into channel guide by moving over to it in the live section or, or even in the DVR section, whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna actually hit home and just use voice remote just like I did for, for DVR. Channel guide. So again, I just held down the voice remote button on top of the, the circle button and I got into my channel guide. What's pretty cool about this is you can go through your different Fire TV channels now and actually tune into a channel and channel surf. So the fast forward rewind buttons do not work by using the right and left now anymore. That's the other main difference. You actually have to use the play pause fast forward rewinds to the left and right of that. And I can actually go back to the grid guide if I move left and right on the circle now. But probably more important than that, if I go uh, back, going up and down actually tunes to channels. So I'm actually channel surfing in here right now, going through the different channels just by hitting the up and down buttons on my remote control. So that's kind of cool. You can actually channel surf through here by going up and down on the circle button to get to the different channels. Um, so again, to recap, use the voice search, say DVR, come into find, go down to library, there's your DVR recordings. Um, if you're playing a recording, and I'll actually pause this just like normal, you cannot use the circle button to go left and right and, and skip forward 30 seconds or back 10 seconds. You actually have to go and use the buttons underneath where the play pause button is to the right and left of that to skip forward 30 seconds like I'm doing now or skip back 10 seconds. So just kind of be aware of those changes. All right, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that'll make life easier. Again, there's nothing you can do to keep the old interface. Amazon is, is forcing everybody to use the new interface, which I, I think is actually better once you get used to it and understand the changes. Um, there's nothing you can do to uh, also push the new user interface. You might have one TV on the old user interface, and one TV on the new user interface. Eventually, they'll all switch over to the new user interface, but Amazon is pushing them out on kind of a staggered approach. So you might have a little bit of time where some are on the old and some are on the new user interface. Um, you can always go to Amazon's forums, of course, and reach out to them or whatever, but there's at the end of the day, there's really not a whole lot that they can do or whatever about it. Uh, I think the main thing is just understanding where the changes are, which hopefully this video helped with. All right, thanks for tuning in and uh, have a great day.